So today, I spent most of my morning being a bubble boy. What's a bubble boy? He's a boy who lives in a bubble. What's happening, guys? Hope your day's going well. Today, we're going to review ASC Sups, El Jefe, their new version without DMHA. We're going to go over the ingredients so you know what you're putting in your body. We're going to go over the effects on this bad boy. If you're new to the channel and you like stuff like that, hit the subscribe button right there. I'd love to have you along for the ride. So jumping right into this, let's get the flavor out of the way. This is a sour gummy bear flavor here. And you have to put enough water into this to get the sour gummy bear flavor. So if you, if you only throw like six ounces in two scoops or eight ounces in two scoops, it's real sour, but the sour overwhelms any other flavors in there. So you got to put a little more water into it to actually, you know, kind of taste the rest of the flavors here. Is it fantastic? No, but it's good. It's, it's decent. It's not, it's not bad. It's not just tolerable. It's actually a good flavor. So getting that out of the way, let's jump into the ingredient profile so we can get this all out of the way and get into the effects on this thing. So I can't wait to describe the effects on this. Might be worth it for some of you guys to invest in this. So putting the ingredient profile right in front of me, we have one scoop at, it's supposed to be, one scoop is supposed to be 11.35 grams, I think. That three looks like a two, and then two scoops supposed to be 22.7 grams. A lot of you don't have a scale. You should, but a lot of you don't. So let's, let me go over real quick on how to dose this without a, without a scale to get into the scoopage. Because if you do a flat level scoop, so let's say if you do the scoop and you get a dome on it and you scrape it to the side like that, you're about a gram over. So it's like 12.6, 12.8 grams. So what you want to do is dip into it like this and shake it off on an angle to where it's flat leveled and you're going to notice that there's a little bit left on the side over here that's out and so it makes it not exactly a flat level scoop that is right into a one scoop dose so if you don't have a scale that's what you want to do to get the uh close to the right dosage there so you don't want to take too much of this it's not like it's super we'll go over the ingredient profile it's not like it's super bad but i just want you guys just to be aware so, jumping right into the rest of the ingredients here. Oh, we got 20 servings at two scoops, 40 servings at one scoop. Right at the top here, we have some choline at 600 milligrams. That's for cognitive function and focus. And that's some choline bitartrate there. Good dose. Then we have some chloride at 300 milligrams, some sodium at 180 milligrams. That's from the pink Himalayan salt in there. And pink Himalayan salt. I'll go over it in the rest of the ingredient profile, but it also has some other attributes to it as far as benefits where it has some minerals in pink Himalayan salt. That's why a lot of companies actually use that regular than just regular, you know, ionized salt because you're going to get some extra benefits on top of the sodium intake. But sodium is going to help with uh, sodium ions in the body for neuron functions, neuron firing. It's also going to help some hydration effects. Then... Right in the good stuff here, we got the Hefe Pump and Performance Matrix. We got L-Citrulline. That is 8 grams of L-Citrulline. So vasodilation pumps. It's going to have some ammonia regulation. It's going to help with me metabolite buildup. It's going to help with more reps, more sets. It's going to help with oxygen delivery to the cells, which is going to then help with more ATP production. Then we have some beta-alanine at 4 grams. That's for the itching, scratching, tingling. Also helps buffer metabolites to build up in the muscles, so you get more reps, more sets. You do have to be saturated with this in order to get those effects. The 4 grams is pretty good. This is for the itching, scratching, tingling that you might get on a pre. Then we got beta betaine and hydrous at 3 grams. This is an osmite and a methyl, methyl donor. has a bunch of health benefits to it, but it's going to help balance hydration in the cells, which is going to help with endurance and power output energy production because it's going to keep you hydrated for a longer period of time it may help with a little cell swelling in the pumps there but not outrageous or anything like that and being a methyl donor it's going to help with vitamin and uh, vitamin regulation in the body and also removal of waste in the body as well then we have some pink Himalayan salt already went over that 500 milligrams good dose we have some l-norvaline at 300 milligrams l-norvaline is a arginase inhibitor so this is a fantastic ingredient to elevate your arginine levels to get more of a pump. So they put this in there because our body wants to regulate the amount of uh, level of arginine that's being used in the body. So it doesn't want you to be able to have an abundant amount of arginine. So it releases an enzyme called arginase, which breaks down arginine. So this keeps that arginine going and creeping higher to give you more advanced, longer pumps in the gym. Then we have some a mento pump at 200 milligrams. So mento pump has 
a few different actions. It has some brain and cognitive function benefits by helping reduce the enzyme that breaks down choline in the brain. So if you guys don't know that, it's got multiple functions to it. This also is a PDE inhibitor. So it's like a Viagra or Cialis, maybe not as strong, but it's going to block or inhibit PDE, which breaks down the arginine and all the vasodilation effects, the CAMP activation and everything. And in turn, what it's going to do is going to elevate uh, cyclic AMP. It's going to help with increases in uh, calcium release in the muscles, so you're going to get better contractions. So it's going to have some fat burning energy regulation uh, processes to it as well, because uh, cyclic CMP and cyclic GMP actually help re release the body release glucose and fats from the cells for energy, but it also spikes AMPK, which is another regulation for not just vasodilation, but also for fat burning and muscle growth. So great ingredient, I like it. So then we have the FA stim and focus matrix here. We're starting off a choline L-bar tartrate at 1500 milligrams. This is a great choline source for stim junkie pre-workouts. So this is one of those choline sources that helps with uh, attention and dialing into a target. So this actually brings your perception into a certain activity and allows you to really focus on it. So it's not as good and as a choline source as far as all around when it comes to cognitive function memory and all that stuff as alpha GPC, but it has its particular benefits for stim junkie pre-workouts and it does provide a good amount of choline in the body which is very essential for us for health and everything it's one of my favorites actually then we have some dmae at 500 milligrams this is a um, waste removal product so this actually will this ingredient will help remove waste from the brain so it's got some healthy aspects to it and it also increases alpha brain waves kind of like l-theanine but it hits a little different and it hits better, it hits smoother than L-theanine. So this is going to give you somewhat of that dial back, kind of like alpha mentality in the gym. Then we have some riodrenesis at 500 milligrams. This is a TAR1, TAR2 receptor inhibitor. So this is going to block the absorption or reuptake of dopamine, the catecholamines, um, uh, norepinephrine, epinephrine in the brain, keep them elevated for a longer period of time. And then we have some theobromine at 500 milligrams. This is great for sweating. This speeds up the metabolism. This also has some ENOS effects, and it also has been shown to enhance blood flow in certain regions of the brain for cognitive function and focus. Then we have some caffeine anhydrous at 300 milligrams, adenosine blocker. It's going to wake you up. Then we have some PEA. At 200 milligrams, PA is a fast-acting TAR1, TAR2 receptor agonist, kind of like a riodrenesis. It hits harder, but doesn't hit as long. And this is going to, again, block the reuptake of catecholamines that are being increased in the brain, which is going to give you a cognitive function and focus. But this also stimulates the release of those catecholamines as well and really gives you a hit of a head high, depending on how much is in here. I'll tell you about the effects on this thing, but very good. And uh, tapers off very soon, though. Then we have some halostetian at 150 milligrams. This is a metabolite of PEA. So it has somewhat of the same functions as far as the noradrenaline, adrenaline, and um, dopamine increases, but also has some stimulatory effects. Very small stimulatory effects. It's going to add to the uh, kick in here as far as the energy levels. Then we have some caffeine citrate at 100 milligrams. This is a fact that fast acting. Caffeine source, 100 milligrams is going to be 50%. It's 50 milligrams there. It's going to kick in within about 15, 20 minutes. Then we have some Infinergy, which is a slow-acting caffeine. 100 milligrams is going to be 75 milligrams of caffeine, both adenosine blockers. It's going to last for four to six hours as it tapers off. And I believe that comes to about 425 milligrams of caffeine total in this thing, so not bad. I've seen worse. Synephrine at 80 milligrams. So synephrine is a beta agonist. So it's a beta agonist for fat cells. So what this is going to do this is going to antagonize the beta receptors in the fat cells and it's going to make them release more fatty acids into the bloodstream, not only for, for weight loss, but also for energy production. This also has some benefits with some, um, what is it, lung capacity as far as it will help with the um, relaxing the smooth muscle cells in the lungs. And what that does is it opens up the airways. So it's a real benefit. Or training, especially if you're, you're hitting it hard and you're hitting it fast and you're hitting it for a long period of time. 
Then we have some Yohembine HCL at 3 milligrams and some Alpha Yo at 2 milligrams. <clears throat> These are both alpha receptor agonists. They're all over the body. So what they're going to do is in the brain, when it agonizes the alpha receptors in the brain, it's going to increase norepinephrine, which is going to give you that kind of like a dialed in alpha male aggression brain hit. And then in the body, it's going to produce some energy, but it's also going to antagonize the alpha cells and it's going to help uh, with the release of lipids into the bloodstream, which is going to help with fat loss. It's going to help with energy production. And then we finish it off with an absorption matrix here of Bioprim at 10 milligrams. This is a black pepper extract. It's going to help with the digestion of everything. So, El Jefe, how did it do? So, jumping right into this. Two scoops on this thing. I'm going to give you the effects. These are my personal effects. You're going to take two scoops. What's going to happen is in 10 minutes... All of a sudden, you're going to start noticing some brain activity. So you're going to no start noticing your brain is starting to enhance in memory, thought, and more of an in-your-head feeling. And that slowly increases until about 20 minutes. I'd say 15 minutes is almost where it feels like it peaks. But 20 minutes is where it peaks. And you're in your head. You're, you're set, set in your head. You're not in a nootropic bubble yet. You're not a bubble boy yet or a bubble girl, but you are on your way. So 20 minutes is when this thing peaks as far as the head hit. Slowly rises up until about 45 minutes and you are a bubble boy when everything else kicks in <laughs> for two hours. So you are in your head. So make sure when you walk out of the house to go to the gym, that you have your keys, you have your pants on. You have your shoes on. You have your shirt on, not backwards. Because <laughs> you will be so focused if you don't leave the house soon enough and you leave the house after 40 minutes to go to the gym, you're going to be so dialed into your thought process. And in your head, you know where you're going. You know where you got to be. But everything that's happening around you from that point, as far as to get to that point out the door, <laughs> is just a blur because <laughs> you are just you are floating in a bubble your brain is in a bubble and that head hit lasts for two hours before it tapers off so i'm two and a half hours i'm still kind of into it i hope this review comes out good it's a one taker i don't have time to be doing multiple takes anymore but this thing will taper down after two hours at uh, two and a half hours i feel somewhat normal but i'm still in my head it will last with you as far as the head hit for four to six hours. But it does taper down slowly for that period of time. Now, energy. The focus comes in with that PEA at about 10 minutes. Damn, it's still a little sooner. I was Every time I take this, I'm shocked at how fast this thing comes in. Energy comes in, I'd say, about 15 minutes in as the PEA is starting to increase. And the energy actually peaks up to about 20 minutes along with the PEA, 25, 20, 25 minutes as far as that first initial PEA head hit up until that 40 minutes to where it, boom, it hits you. And the energy at that 20, 25 minutes stays at a smooth level all the way until that 40, 45 minutes hits. And we'll get into that hit on 40, 40 45 minutes there. And then the energy kind of increases after that, but it's not insane. So this energy... Even though you have an underlying anxious energy and you have this drive to get shit done in the gym and a ton of energy to tackle those tasks, and it's a physical and also a mental energy at the same time. So the physical isn't 100% physical. I'd say it's about 70% physical because your brain the activity in the brain is your new tropical bubble, but the brain activity because of the alpha brainwave hit and some of the way these PEAs hit in and the dopamine increase, and I'll get into the well-being and all that stuff in a little bit. Well, that is more of an alpha brainwave hit to where you are dialed. You are relaxed in the brain. So when it comes with the anxiousness, as far as the energy hit, it's very smooth. It dials you in from head to toe very smooth in a delivery and that energy lasts for a good four to six hours it's going to stay with you the peak energy is almost exactly the same as a nootropic hit before it styles up starts to dial off it's two hours two hours or so and then it kind of just starts tapering down 
I'm trying to think of things that I'm forgetting here. So I'm trying to give you guys everything on this thing because this is an experience. So when I was talking about the 45 minutes, the 45 minutes, when it kicks in, when this thing finally kicks in and you get into the nootropic bubble, you become a bubble boy. <laughs> That's when the alpha yo hits and the yo himbi hits. And you know it. So it's not extreme. I wouldn't say it's super uncomfortable. I'm somebody that's sensitive to these things. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's like super uncomfortable. But you get hit at 40, 45 minutes with the coldness and the chills a little bit. So it's, it's faint. It's in the background. And it just comes on. And at the same time, it hits you in the head. The noradrenaline just... Boom! Spikes. And that is your go time there. So that is actually when the workout really becomes intense. You are sweating for two hours on this thing. The synephrine, the theobromine at 500 milligrams, the alpha yo, yo himbine hit, the alpha 2 receptor hit. This is going to make you sweat your butt off for two hours and maybe a couple hours as it dials off after that. So you always have this initial type of a sweating effect. So a very good fat burning pre-workout there. Um, the effects on the, the alpha yo, so some of you guys want to know when it hits at 44, 45 minutes, that initial effects, the cold and a little bit of chill and the head hit seems to taper off about an hour. So you got 15 minutes of that where it comes in not super harsh. So this is not like a a psychic warfare or what what is what are those pre-workout psycho psychopharmer pharma type yo hembine alpha yo hit or anything like that to where you're just like it's hitting your nervous system and all that stuff it's super smooth hits very low dialed at about 45 minutes smooths out an hour and then you're just training and sweating and with a bunch of energy and you're in a nootropic bubble focused on everything that's going on so getting into the well-being well-being on this thing hits right when the nootropic hits about 10 minutes in. You start feeling a sense of well-being. So you can have the crappiest morning. You can have the shittiest morning. I'm sorry for the language. But the well-being really comes in, makes the music sound good, makes you feel good, makes you feel really nice as long as you embrace this. And what I mean by embrace this, once you start going in that nootropic bubble, just let go. Just let go, like go with it and just have fun with it because that's what this pre is. It's to get shit done, it's to enjoy the ride. And this one here, if you let go, you will enjoy the ride. You really have to let, just let go. <laughs> pumps on this thing, pumps on this thing are great. No need to stack anything in here. There's not any cell swelling and fabulous cell swelling, but you got some nice tight vaso vasodilation pumps and it's um, all around hitter for somebody looking for pre-workout like this. I said this before, pre-workouts like this, I can only take once or twice a week. And it's hard for me to take these on work days because on uh, work days I deal with people. And uh, this really gets you into a nootropic bubble for two hours. And like I said, it hangs on after that. I mean, you are nootropically enhanced for a long period of time on this thing. So trying to give you guys all the goods, the bads, the uglies on this. Um, I hope I did a good job. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I forgot on this thing. Went over the alpha yo hit, went over the energy, went over the focus, went over the pumps. So this is Dave. I'm signing off. I'm going to go finish off the rest of my day. And like I said in the video, I'm going to enjoy the ride on this thing for the rest of the day. You guys have a good one. We'll see you next time on the channel.